We're going to shoot a video of a homemade wood gas camp stove. It's made with a Progresso soup can and a one quart paint can with a uh, pot stand made out of a tuna fish can. This is about the amount of fuel we'll put in it. Maybe about that much. We should be able to boil uh, two cups of water to make some ramen noodles. Tanner is going to attempt to start it. We put a cotton ball with some Vaseline and he's going to use the flint striker. There, you're lit, son. And we'll put up a windscreen around it. See if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it or hear it. We'll put the uh, pot stand on. Yep. Two cups of cold water. We'll set up there. Kind of hard to see through this, I believe. And that's all there is. It's lit and it's burning. You want to tear a piece of I don't know if you can see it. It's smoking, but there's definitely some heat coming off of it. It'll start gassing in a few minutes. There we go. You can see the flames starting to come up. We're hollering for him yesterday when we were cooking the squirrel. That's my buddy. Look, say hello, Evis. Hello. Yeah, we're we're burning good. I don't know if you can see. You can see the fire it's starting to burn. It's starting to gas. It's coming out of the uh, the holes in the top of the can. Smells right here. Yeah. Water's getting warm real quick. What are you doing, Elvis? As you can see, move this. Kind of a bad light. The uh, fire kit that we put together, it's in a Sterilite waterproof container. It's got a uh, one can of the and the orange can is uh, cotton balls and palmate. It's like a Vaseline. Open it up and show them. If you, it just lifts off, it's kind of hard. Oh. Yeah, you just <laughs> got cotton balls in it. Just and get in, get a cotton right ball, there. and squeeze it into the palmate, and it lights. Uh, the next thing we have is uh, it's a fire stick. It's uh, basically toothpicks uh, soaked in wax inside of a cardboard tube. You just light it uh, to extend your, instead of using a cigarette lighter or matches, you can light that and it'll burn a long time. Uh, homemade fire starters, they're made out of uh, paper dust and lint and wax. And just like pressed them into a... Uh, and they look like cookies. <laughs> they look like cookies. Press them into a cookie sheet, cut them with a pizza cutter. And a cheapo cigarette lighter and a magnesium uh, fire bar, fire striker. And in the uh, container, we have char cloth that we made. And uh, that's pretty much the fire kit. Oh, that is some uh, um, fuel line antifreeze uh, heat. It's called heat, and she's really working it up now, aren't you? Hi. <laughs> Let's see how it's gassing. Uh, if you see, it's coming. Um, it's starting to gas. It's and uh, a, it's, it's a, the water steaming. It's only been on for a minute or two. If you can see that. I'll leave that off. Just put the lid on. We'll be able to get about a, a 10 minute burn time on that one load of fuel. Got inside. It boiling. You should be able to see the water starting to boil. I'm smoking. So add some. Water noodles. Just add the noodles. What flavor? Chicken. chicken. Flavor. Don't put it so close, they can't see it. 
add it to the pot. It's in the if we can see it gassing. It's coming out of the holes around the top. Looks like we've still got about three quarters of fuel left. Made out of a quart paint can and a progressive soup can and a tuna fish can. You can find these plans all over all over YouTube. And as you can see, it's a nice rolling boil. We'll let it cook for a couple of minutes. More than enough fuel to, to cook. Matter of fact, I've, I've actually fried squirrel on this little thing. Works just fine. Boil, you can see that. Wind's kind of kicking up no matter where we put our wind blocker. Our wind screen. But it still is doing pretty good. There's uh, Senior Fat Man and my 13 year old musician, Timmy. There's one cameraman, Tanner. The one that fell And there's down. another cameraman. See us, she's hiding. The one that fell down like two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know if you can see on the inside, but there's still plenty of fuel left. Half a can. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's gassing out the little holes. It's kind of hard to see with the light and the wind blowing. That's about it.